So I have three Christmas trees with me and in this video I'm gonna go over the pros and cons of each of them and see which one works best for which person. So starting off over here, this is gonna be the biggest, this is gonna be the seven foot national tree company Christmas tree. I went ahead and bought this one. This is gonna be the six foot Yahi Tech pre-lit Christmas tree. They went ahead and sent me this one and this is gonna be the four foot pre-lit Wagle tree. I bought this one too. So starting off with the smallest tree and the only one I can hold with one hand is gonna be the four foot Wagle tree. And this one's gonna come in a bunch of different colors. Now this one's gonna be more of a decoration piece. Now you can put this indoors just to add a little bit more of a touch of holiday spirit. Or if you want, you could leave it outdoors. Uh, in this case, I left it outside on the porch. So when it did rain, it was protected from the water. So this never had any water touch it. And what makes it different is the fact that it's battery operated. And it's going to take three AA batteries. It comes with eight different light modes, which I think is really cool. And right now we're going to be in the most basic of modes, steady mode. So this is where the lights are simply on and nothing else. This is also going to be the eighth mode on this list. And if I go ahead and press it, it's going to go ahead and completely turn it off for the ninth setting. When I press it one time, this is gonna be combination. So this is gonna be, as the name suggests, a combination of all the different ones that come in here. Uh, and the first one being in wave. So when I go ahead and click it to the second one, this is gonna be in wave. So it kind of flickers on and off just like that. So it gives it like a nice glimmer. I click it again, this is gonna give me sequential. So here you can see there's gonna be bits of the tree that light up while other bits go ahead and shut off. I press it again and this is gonna be slow glow. So it slowly starts glowing as bright as possible and then slowly starts getting dim as well too, as you can see, until it completely shuts off. And then other parts go ahead and glow as well too. Next mode is gonna be chasing flash. So as the name suggests, it's gonna go ahead and flash on and off in different sections, kind of like it's chasing in a way. Next one's gonna be slow fade. So kind of like slow glow, it's gonna fade in and out, except all the lights are gonna go ahead and fade. So as you can see here, it goes as bright and then it dims and then bright and dims and it's relatively fast. Next one, which I think is the coolest one, is gonna go ahead and be Twinkle Flash. So it turns on and off really fast in a bunch of different sections. And of course, the eighth one's just gonna be steady, nice and simple, and then I can turn it off. Now taking a look at the base, this is gonna be the only tree over here that's made up of five different pieces. So these feet actually go ahead and come off. So if I pull hard enough, here's how it goes. So again, it's really simple to go ahead and put away. Now, just like the other trees, this is made up of three different tree sections. So right here, I can go ahead and pull it apart. And you see right here is gonna go ahead and be the base. We're gonna have the middle and then finally the top. Now one thing to note is that these don't feel that secure. So if I go ahead and kind of hold it from the top, it just goes ahead and comes off. So if you're looking to move this from one place to another, I definitely recommend starting from the bottom just to avoid it you know, falling apart. Another thing that's different is gonna be these branches. So unlike all the other trees, these are gonna be on the lighter side. So they're gonna be really easy to go ahead and maneuver and twist, but they don't feel the most secure because it's just gonna be one simple stem. Unlike a regular Christmas tree where there's like a branch and then a bunch of different stems that come off, this is just one piece and that's how it's gonna be all throughout over here. So overall, this is gonna make for a great holiday decoration if you're looking for a tree on the smaller side to keep either at home or at the office. Next up, we're gonna have the Yahi Tech six foot spruce pencil tree. And as the name suggests, it's gonna be shaped like a pencil. This one's gonna go ahead and be relatively thin. It's not gonna be really thick like a regular Christmas tree, uh, but regardless, it still looks really nice and it looks really full, especially considering this one's gonna be pre-lit. So it actually comes with all of these lights included. This is gonna be 250 lights. But if this tree isn't enough for you, you also do get bigger options. There's gonna be one that comes in seven and a half feet and nine feet. So this one's gonna be green, but you also do get other color options, which include pink, white, and black. Now taking a look at the base, there's gonna be two parts that make this up. It's gonna be this part all the way here and this other part that goes perpendicular. And to actually keep this in place, we're gonna have three screws there's gonna be like a hole in the middle. And not only does this keep this from, you know, securely in place, but it also tightens up this first part of the tree. And it's also safe for your floors because it does have these rubberized grips all around. Now building this was relatively quick. It took roughly around 25 minutes. And of course the longest time took actually spreading out each of these individual leaves. And one big tip when spreading out these leaves is to start from the bottom and work your way up. So start with the first base, and after everything's done, put the second base on. After the second base is done, put the third base, and you're good. And these branches also feel really durable because as I was spreading them out, I was rough on them, I was moving them back and forth, and they still went ahead and seemed to be nice and secure and didn't break at all. And now the only thing I am noticing is just like little bits falling off here and there, just kind of like this, but it was probably when I was moving this whole tree over here. And now taking a look at the inside, it's gonna be made up of these individual metal poles. There's gonna be six of these on each part, and 
when it goes all the way to the end, this is where we're gonna have all these different branches, which you can go ahead and just pull out. Now, one big tip to go ahead and make this as full as possible is to make sure the branches are pulled out in all different directions. So not just facing outside, but also facing up, down, left, right, and it just makes it really full. And as you can see, I definitely did a pretty good job with it. Now, one thing I liked about the Yahi Tech is the fact that even though it said six foot, this is actually much bigger than six foot. It's probably like six and a half feet. And it's probably because of this branch over here. So if it were here, yeah, we're about the same height, six foot, six foot. And this just goes ahead and ups it and increases it. And it also even has the light up top. So it's pretty good with attention to detail. Now, if you do want to go ahead and move this tree, I definitely don't recommend starting from over here in the middle just because it's going to go ahead and loosen the bottom up as you see. So it's always best to start from the base and then just grab the stand. And I can easily go ahead and move it with two hands and it's not too heavy. And so one of my favorite parts about this Yahi Tech Christmas tree is the fact that it's pre-lit. So it already comes with all these bulbs. There's gonna be 250 of them in a warm yellow color and it just looks really nice. So all you really have to do is just set it up and that's it. If you want to put a few ornaments, but just the fact that it comes with this just makes setup a lot easier. So if you're somebody who wants to go ahead and put up a Christmas tree as quick as possible, or you live in a small house or a small apartment and don't have a lot of space, this one's definitely gonna be a good option. It's only gonna be 29 inches width from the bottom, so it could fit basically just a corner in your place. So now we have the biggest of them all. This is gonna be the National Tree Company, seven foot Dunhill Fir Artificial Christmas Tree. And this thing is massive. One of the standout features about this is the fact that it just looks very elegant. It's very wide at the bottom as well too, so you are gonna to have to have space in your house to go ahead and put this. Um, it's about 55 inches long, so it's very long, much longer than the other two um, that I mentioned before. But if for some reason seven feet is too small for you, it also does come in seven and a half feet, nine feet, 10 feet, 12 feet, and 14 feet. But if you just like the look of it and you're looking for something a little bit smaller, you also can get this in the four foot, four and a half foot, six foot, and six and a half foot. So an important thing to note is that this is just gonna be a Christmas tree. It does not come pre-lit. Uh, I have these red lights all over it just to give it like more of a decor, um, but you are gonna have to get your own decorations and your own lights just to give it more life. Now taking a look at the base, just like the Yahi Tech, it's also gonna go ahead and be made out of two stands so it's going to be made of this one over here and the other one that's perpendicular to it now these are going to be very thick very robust and thankfully at the bottom they are going to be rubberized so it's not going to go ahead and scratch your floor your surface or anything like that and then over here it's only going to be held together with one screw with a hole in between and this not only tightens this but also prevents this piece from the bottom from moving now here's a closer look at the pole now going up we're going to have these metal bits that attach to the pole of the tree there's going to be about eight of these over here and then as we go up this is where the branches are going to go ahead and be now these branches and these bristles are probably going to be the nicest ones i've seen when we go ahead and compare it to the yahi tech they're vastly different and in my opinion they're going to be superior it just feels more luxurious mainly because there's a lot more detail taking a look at the bristles these are going to be really small really thin and also a little bit shorter so when you look from a distance it just looks more detailed so here's a look at the national tree companies and then here's a look at yahi techs here you can see they're longer and thicker now assembly the national tree company one took a lot longer than the yahi tech simply because it's a lot bigger and i also went ahead and messed up at the bottom i didn't go ahead and separate it enough i didn't spread it out and fluff it enough i went to the second one and then i realized i messed up so i had to go ahead and redo the bottom just so it looks a lot more fluffier a lot more fuller and then keep going up 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 and then i realized i had to go ahead and spread these out more just so it looks fuller at the top and yeah i think it ended up looking pretty nice over here and again, these branches are also gonna go ahead and be really durable. You can go ahead and twist them a lot and they're not gonna go ahead and break anytime soon. So here's a top-down view of the tree and taking a look at the bottom, you can see it's really wide in comparison to this one and the other two, you can combine both of them. This one's still gonna go ahead and be wider. And here's a quick comparison of me with the tree. You can see it's vastly taller than me. It's huge. My arms can't even wrap around the whole width of it. So overall, if you're looking for a well-built and elegant Christmas tree, the National Tree Company Artificial Tree is definitely gonna be for you. Not only that, but it also comes with a bunch of different options starting from four feet all the way up to 14 feet if your house is big enough. So yeah, that's a quick overview of the four foot Wagel, the six foot Yahi Tech, and the seven foot National Tree Company. Hopefully this video helped you find the best Christmas tree suited for you.